and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're creating watercolor macaroons entirely in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're creating together. The color palette for this project is entirely free as always. There's a link in the video description, so just tap on that and you can download and install it. The brushes we're using for this project are my watercolor illustration brushes, and I will leave a link in the video description to those as well. I'm going to create a brand new document that is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 dpi and then we'll get started. Okay, I've got my canvas all set up, and the first thing I'm going to do is go grab a reference image so we can work off of that to make this look as realistic as possible. Okay, I am on the website called unsplash.com. I'll leave a link to this specific image if you'd like to download it and follow along with me. So I just search for macaroons on the website and I scroll down a little ways and this is the photo. And in order to use it in Procreate, you can tap on it to download it. And then it'll open up and you can save it to your camera roll or you can take a screenshot from here and use it that way. And once you have it on your camera roll, then we're going to head back into Procreate and bring it in so we can use it as our template. Okay, I'm back into Procreate and to grab that photo from your camera roll, all you have to do is hit the wrench icon, go to add and hit insert a photo and go grab it. Okay, I've got my photo right here and this is a pretty good size just the default size of it. So I'm just going to leave it at the size that it is, nice and big. What we're going to do is create a sketch template first, that way we have the main structure of our individual cookies, and then we'll add in all of our watercolor after that. So I'm going to create a brand new layer. I'm going to grab black to use as my sketch template. So just double tap where the black is down here and you'll be all set to go. I mentioned that I'm using my watercolor illustration brushes. So in that brush set, there's a brush called sketching pencil. So that's what we're going to use. The size of the sketching pencil is at 5%. And all I'm going to do on this brand new layer is trace over each one of these cookies. And I'm going to do this top part, and then this is called the foot of the macaroon. So when I come around, I'm going to create definition between where the foot is and then the top of the cookie because there's very different texture going on there. So that will let me know that's where the different texture begins. And then the filling of the cookie is right here. So that's also going to be its own kind of section within my sketch template. So I'm going to do this for each one of these cookies and then I'll be back. Okay, so I fully traced my reference image and if I turn off my reference image, you can see I've got my stack of cookies right here. And if you're using a different source image than me when you are developing your color swatches, all you wanna make sure is that you're grabbing colors that are shadow areas, mid-tone, and highlights. So for each one of these cookies, I've grabbed that and that's what I've got right here in my color swatches. So this top row is for the pink cookie. The middle row is for the purple one, and then the green one is at the bottom. So for the middle one, my shadows and the color of my filling are basically the same, so that's why there's three here instead of four. So now I'm going to duplicate my reference image and reduce the size of it. And you could use the one that you have underneath your sketch template as a guide if you would like. If you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can just use it as a reference where you're looking at it instead of painting right on top of it. So that's the method that I'm going to show here. So I'm just going to have it over here in the corner and kind of look at where the colors are and determine where my shadows and my highlights are going to go. And then we'll integrate that texture into the foot portion of the macaroons. So this is my sketch template, I'm going to label that and create a brand new layer right above it. And the first cookie we're going to do is our pink cookie up on the top, and then we will continue on from there. So when I come up here, the first thing I do is lay down my lightest color. So we're working very similar to traditional watercolor where you lay down your lightest colors first, and then you darken everything up as you move along. So I'm going to grab my lightest color of my top macaroon, which is this one right here, the second one. And I'm going to grab my medium paint round brush from this set, and I'm going to paint everything except for the filling here because this cookie is the same color all the way through, the top part of the cookie and the bottom part. So each one of these portions I'm filling in separately and that will also distinguish the different areas of the cookie. 
Now that I have just the cookie painted in, I'm going to create a brand new layer right above it. And now I'm going to start adding in my mid-tones. So I'm going to grab this first color and that is basically the general color of the cookie. And I'm using the exact same brush, but now I'm paying very close attention to where my highlights are and where my mid-range and my shadows are. So my mid-range is basically right in the middle and then everything gets darker on the right side. So this is a really good source image to start out with if you haven't painted like this before. So I basically have the light source coming from the left side. So everything on the right side will be darker. And then as the cookies hit one another, those are casting a shadow as well. But the main middle part of each cookie is going to be this mid-range color. So I can start with that. So I'm just going to come in here and I know the right side of my cookie is going to be darker. So it's okay for me to paint into the right side because we're just going to keep darkening that up as we go. So for each one of these portions, I'm going to paint from the middle over to the right side. And now we can start adding in darker mid-tones and then we'll add in our shadows last. So for my darker mid-tones and parts of my shadow, I'm going to create a brand new layer right above it. And whenever you use the same color and paint on top of the previous color with the same brush, with these brushes, the way they're programmed, it gives you the wet on dry technique. So anytime I paint over, it's naturally going to be darker, even though I'm painting in the exact same color. So that can be really useful when you're blending colors together, especially when you are changing shades of a similar color. So I already know that I've got the shadow right along this top edge. So I'm going to make that part darker and then into the main part of the foot, the top foot of this cookie is darker, this area of the bottom part. Okay, we're going to create one more layer on top of this and this will be our darkest one. We're going to change the blend mode to multiply but we're using the exact same color. So this will just darken the same color up just to create that extra contrast between our lights and our darks. So the next part is my favorite part. This is where we blend everything and make it really smooth and beautiful. So we're going to start with our first layer, our first mid-tone layer, and we're going to start blending into the lightest color so where all of our highlights are. So I'm going to grab my smudge tool and we're going to use our spot bleed brush for that. So grab that brush and we're just going to start pushing the color. Let's make this a little larger. I'm gonna come up to like 8% and this will blend with our bleed into the highlight area. And if you ever need to scale it back, you just push where there isn't any color and that will push it back. This seems a little large still. I'm gonna come down to 5% on this. The spot bleed brush also works really well when you're stippling. So if you have an edge that you just want a softer transition, just stipple the color and that will give you a more gradual transition. So that's also really helpful as you're blending. And I'm constantly referring to my source image, making sure I'm putting the blending where it needs to go. Okay, that looks good. Now I can move on to the next layer. So this one are my just a little bit darker mid-tones. So I'm going to blend those ones into the layer beneath it. And then the last one is my shadow. So I'm going to grab that layer and just blend these areas. So these ones I'm just going to stipple. Okay, let's preview what this looks like so far. So turn off your sketch template layer. We can turn off our source image layer and just take a look at that. And that's looking pretty good. I want this part to be a little more obvious. So I know that I need to blend this color over just a little bit more. Okay, and next we're going to add in the texture of our foot area. So you can see right here we've got some shadows. And in order to do that, I'm going to grab my darkest color right here. I'm going to grab my spot bleed brush and use this as a paintbrush instead of a smudge brush. I'm going to create a brand new layer right at the very top. And the size of this is like 3%. And I'm just going to do like little lines because this is a textured brush when you paint with it. So it works really well for this part of the cookie. So just refer to your source image and draw little shapes where the shadows are. 
Okay, and then just to blend this with the background color a little bit, we're going to grab our smudge brush and use the spot bleed again. I'm bringing it down to like 3%. Okay, let's preview this by turning off our sketch template and our source image, and that's looking good. So I'm going to add in our filling now. So the filling is going to be at the very bottom, so tap on your sketch template layer, create a brand new layer right above it. Now this will be beneath everything that we've done so far. Grab your filling color, which is at the very end. I'm going to return to my medium paint round brush and then paint in the filling. And then we're going to take a look at our reference image and we have a highlight on the filling too. So in order to add some shading to this one, all we have to do is come back over it a few times in the darker area, and that will darken it up compared to the other side. If you'd like, you can create a brand new layer, change the blend mode to multiply, and then paint over in the shadow area, and that will also darken it up. I'm going to reduce the opacity just slightly because I feel like that's just a little too dark, so I'm going to come down to 50% on it. And I think that's good. Let's turn off sketch. Okay, so that is one cookie totally done. And I'm just going to group all of these together and label this one pink. All right, moving on to our purple cookie. So we're basically just going to repeat this exact same process for each cookie. So I'm going to turn on the sketch template and I'm going to speed up the video quite a bit now, now that we've laid the foundation, but I'm still going to walk you through each individual step just to hit everything home. So I'm going to turn my reference image back on, create a brand new layer. Now we're on our second row of colors. So we're going to start with our lightest color first. Make sure your medium paint round brush is selected. Give this a base coat. Okay, now we're moving on to our mid-tones. So create a brand new layer. I'm going to grab my main purple color and just reference this image. Now we have some shadow being cast where there was highlight before over here because the top cookie. So just make sure that your mid-tones are extending almost all the way to the edge on the left side, but keep this strong highlight along this top portion of the cookie. Create a brand new layer. We're going to do another level of darkness to our mid-range colors. Create a brand new layer. This one I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply and do our strongest shadows now. Okay, I'm going to create one additional layer compared to our pink cookie because we have some very strong shadows right where the two cookies meet. So I'm just going to grab my darkest purple right here in the middle and give myself a little bit of that color up at the top that I can work with for the shadows. And I'm going to add some at the very bottom here too. Okay, now we can start our blending. So same process as before, I'm going to start with my first mid-range layer and grab my smudge tool and stipple with my spot bleed brush. Okay, move on to the next layer. Okay, now we can put in the texture in the foot area of the cookie. So create a brand new layer. Make sure your darkest purple is selected and you're using the spot bleed brush as your paintbrush and just refer to your reference image as you work. Okay, we're going to smudge that out just a little bit. Okay, once you have all of your foot texture complete, now let's add in the filling. And down here, I'm just going to tap on my pink group, create a brand new layer right above it, grab my darkest color, and I'm using my medium paint round again. For this one, we have a pretty strong highlight right here. So I'm just going to be careful not to color that at all because I want that to be a really strong focal point of this because it is so bright and shiny. So I'm just going to color around that area but then fill in the rest. Okay, and then I can just darken up some of the other areas by painting right on top. So let's preview this, turn off our sketch template. We can turn off our reference image and that's looking good. 
And now we can group all of these together, label this one purple, and we can move on to our last macaroon. So this green one right down here, same exact process that we've been doing the entire time. So I'm going to speed up most of the video for this one, but you can still watch the process. Okay, I've got all of my macaroons all set now and they're all in their own layers. So to finish this off, you could just call this done right here. If you wanna add a little bit of extra detail, I'm going to add some paint splatter around everything just to make it look a little more watercolor and painterly. So I'm going to create a brand new layer up at the top. I'm going to grab my main colors right here. So this pink, the purple, and the green. So I'll start with the pink first. I'm going to grab my bleeding splatter brush and just put some splatter around it. And then I'm going to switch to my purple. Actually, the purple's a little similar to the pink, so I'm going to grab my darker purple. I'll reduce the size of this just to vary it up a little. And then I'm going to add in my green. Okay, if you wanna label this macaroons, I like using the round liner brush for this. I'm going to grab my darkest green color. Let me reduce this down to like 8%. Okay, and then one last thing, I'm just going to add a paper texture to the top of it so it looks like it was created on watercolor paper. So I'm going to create a brand new layer at the very, very top. You wanna to make sure that you're using black for this, so double tap where the black is, and then toggle down. I'm going to use the medium tooth paper texture at the very, very bottom, and you just wanna make sure your brush is at max size, zoom out a little bit, and then just paint over your entire canvas. And this is a watercolor paper texture that gets applied. And if I zoom in here, you can see that pretty detail. And I'm just going to change the blend mode to multiply just so everything blends a little nicer together. And there we go. So that's how to paint watercolor macaroons entirely in Procreate. Once again, the link to the free color swatch is right in the video description. I've also put a link to my watercolor illustration brush set if you'd like to check that out as well. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.